In the movie The Matrix, we see the representation of the red pill and blue pill. Reality and fear versus lying and comfort. Keanu Reeves' character is given the option to take either the red pill, face reality, or the blue pill, stay in the known. He makes the daring decision and takes that red pill. Constantly, throughout the duration of the movie, he thinks to himself, what if he hadn't taken that pill? But then he slowly learns to be happy with his decisions. I took my red pill, and I learned how to be happy with the things in my life. Now, when I say I took my red pill, I mean that I used to care about what people thought about me, about whether or not I fit someone's social standards, and whether or not I looked like someone else. Constantly, thoughts like these were running through my head, and I was living in my own form of the matrix. Not one where crazy robot viruses attack people, and I have inhumane powers to stop them, but a matrix of caring how people saw me. That was my blue pill. And after an enormous amount of time, I took my red pill, the pill that helped me break the cycles of what ifs I had grown into. I had cared so much of what people thought about me that I had stopped my whole life. I wasn't living, I was simply just trying to fit in. At my middle school, we were in a class of about 29 people. And of those 29 people, I feel like the only one every day thinking to myself, what if I didn't go to school today? What if they didn't notice I showed up? And what if they say something about me again? I feared that people wouldn't like me if I didn't meet their standards. And every day was the same repeating thought process just like this. And there was never one positive thought. And I was stuck, trapped, encased in my own box of fear. My only thoughts were the ones that started with, what if? The things, that people, the things people had said about me ended up affecting my everyday life. In fact, I couldn't do a simple task such as shopping for fear of being judged on how I looked. And now that I look back, I no longer care of what any of those people think about me. They had broken down my confidence so much that I couldn't fit my, sta my, I couldn't fit my own standard, the standard of simply liking who I was. And I look back and I think to myself, I no longer care about what any of those people think about me. My whole thought process has shifted. I was able to slowly construct the person I am today by being able to start those scared what-if sentences in a new, light-minded way. I realized that there will always be people who have something to say about me, but I'm the one who has to keep on moving. And now look at me, standing here, loving where I am. It took me a long time to find like the person I am, but I remember last year, I had walked into a Barnes & Noble's with one of my close friends in hopes to find a new read. We hopped on that escalator and headed up and searched for a place to sit and relax. And as we sat down next to one of the enormous bookshelves, I had turned to my right, and I saw this little lettering scribbled onto the side of the shelf that read, we were made to be perfectly imperfect. And this simple sentence had hit me straight in the heart as if Cupid shot it himself. It made me realize that, yes, I was not meant to be like everyone else, and I was meant to be different. That the things people had pointed out about me were not imperfections, they were who made me me. I found myself. I no longer judge myself based on others' opinions, and I no longer need validation from others, because I'm finally meeting my standard rather than theirs. I finally like the person I am. And I noticed, after this whole process of self-growth, that the only thing stopping me was fear. Fear is one of the largest forces in our everyday lives. It keeps us in the known cycle of life that we're used to, and we're anchored down by past negative experiences that we think the future will repeat the past. We fear the future, and the two simple words of what if are the biggest commanders when we look into it. Every day, people all around you are thinking these words, and I know for a fact, every single person in this audience has started off a sentence with what if. We fear the possibilities of things that could, that could happen, but fearing the what if, the unknown, does not always have to be this way, because there's a difference between living in fear and living with fear. When we think, what if something goes wrong? There's always the alternate option of, what if something went right? We spend time thinking about the decisions we're gonna make and contemplating all the possible outcomes. The problem with this? You'll never know the true outcomes of the future. You won't know if something is right or wrong, and you won't know if the decision you make is ever the right choice. And repeating over and over and over again, we think about all the possible results. 
We overthink about how things will go wrong and never take a second to, ch second to think about what if this went in the right direction? Fear is the one thing we can think of when we look into the future. And in all honesty, I think fear is the only thing stopping any of us from achieving our true dreams. So next time you're scared to go out of your comfort zone, just think about how the only thing stopping you is this little four letter word, fear. Don't let this minute word take over your everyday life and respond to those scared what if thoughts that's with the ones that say, what if I gave this a try? What if I take things slowly before jumping in? And what if I really can do it? Earlier I had mentioned I had broken my cycle, the cycle of fearing the possible outcomes of what people thought about me. And don't get me wrong, I still to this day think sometimes, what if, what if somebody doesn't like me and what if I don't look like someone else? But I've come to realize that that is normal. It is not normal when it controls your everyday life and thinking on a 24 seven basis, what if this and what if that is not healthy. You can't change the past, but you can create the future. You can create all the possible outcomes that can happen in your life, but none of your dreams will come true if you don't go out and do it. Choose the what if thoughts that say, what if I can do it? You can start using past fears to realize how far you've come. Use it as a way to prove yourself wrong and use it as a way to show others they were wrong. A way to find out who you are and where you can challenge yourself and a way to see and show those past negative experiences that they won't and cannot affect you anymore. You may never know the true outcomes of the future, but you can mold it. That's what if. Those realities that you make up in your mind that can lead you to create and maybe experience something new. And thinking about what if this happened instead of what actually did. And that's okay. It's okay to think about the things that could have happened because what ifs are just a starting factor in the bigger picture. The past is only in your head. The future is in your hands. But you'll never know the true outcome to things. Thank you.